Hey, welcome to Cyber Sports Weekly. We're starting a new program here. We try to get some information out uh, about the athletics program and uh, kind of what's going on and uh, have you guys meet some coaches and get some information. So my name is Jeff Russell. I'm the athletic director here. I got Mark Slevko next to me, also an athletic director here, and our special guest today, Coach Feldman. How you doing, Coach? Doing good, thanks. Nice, doing good. nice. So we're back, back in full strength. Uh, exciting to be out here uh, and doing stuff. So, uh, Slev, what do you think? Yeah, Coach, you're, uh, you're an alumni. We're all alumni here at Cybers High. Uh, lots changed over the years. Um, How does this past year stack up with uh, your time? Well, of course, it's been different, right? We weren't in school for an entire year and a half, and for an entire year sports season, they got pushed back to the spring. So we played our quick little spring season and then quick turnaround and we're back in the fall again. So it, it all feels a little rushed on one end and then on the other end, it feels great to be back in, in more of a normal season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're excited to have everybody back. It was awesome watching you guys last week. Uh, we have uh, the uh, program actually being sent out as well live. So we have some guest announcers and everything. And it was a tough game. I mean, you guys uh, took on a really tough Foothill squad. Uh, what do you do, like, reflecting back? What were the positives that you get from that game? Uh, there are definitely plenty of good things. I think we felt going in, we knew the foothill was good, and in the preseason rankings, we were right next to each other and knew it could go either way. Um, negatively, we made a few mistakes, too many, to barely lose that game against a really good team. But positively, lots of positive plays on offense, guys flying around on defense. And um, if we can just straighten out, the miscues, I, I like our chances. I think we have a real good team this year. Coach, you're an all-time winningest coach in football history at Cyrus High. A couple league championships back-to-back. -back. Um, what, uh, what are we going to expect this year? Uh, who, who's going to shine for us? Um, well, thanks, first of all. Secondly, yeah, hopefully we can make it three in a row, but the league's really tough. Pacifica and Tustin opened up with big wins uh, for us last week. Guys that we kind of thought would shine. Dylan threw for over three, Eldridge for over 300 yards and five touchdowns. Receiver Matthew Morell, Devin Cobb, Trevor Monteleone all had real good games. Um, o line, George Ilome did a good job. And on defense, guys were flying around. Aiden Gomez, Carson St. Amon, Mohamed Hassan now always does a great job. Neil Jansen, um, Tomas Ramirez. So we have a lot of experience this year and a really beefed up schedule. So I'm hoping we don't take lumps as we get ready for league, but that's what helps you get ready to defend your title. So. That's right. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we play a really tough schedule. Coach is definitely challenging our team this year. Doesn't get any easier this week with San Juan Hills. I know they got a lot of really quick and athletic defensive backs, a junior quarterback coming in, and then they have a couple receivers, one of which is going to UCLA. Uh, how do we, you know, look at, at this game and approach them knowing that they got some skilled guys? Uh, well, they're a lot like Foothill, who we just played, who had very skilled receivers as well. And they have two guys with Pac-12 offers, and they've been ranked in the top 10 in the county preseason. And I think if we can just eliminate our mistakes and not so much worry about them, but worry about what we're doing, if we play well, hold on to the football and fly around, and the rest takes care of itself. And, and I think that gives us a chance to win. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a big group, and big old line. And uh, I know that you guys work a lot on you know, defensive schemes to slow them down and stop them. But what players maybe are, are points of emphasis for us this week? Players on our side? Yes. Uh, defensively, for sure, our defensive backs against that receiving crew with, I already mentioned, Tomas and Devin and Trevor. Um, we're going to have Jesse Malden in there as well. And of course, Neil Jansen will probably be lined up on their best receiver. Linebackers are going to have to be able to put pressure on the quarterback and be able to pass drop at the same time. And then our, we're going to have to contain him. They have an athletic quarterback who likes to run. And offensively, I like our skill. And if we can get time, if we can give him time, give Dylan time and be able to throw the ball, I like our receivers. I've already told you who they are. And um, we'll be in the game if we can do those things. That's right. There's always three sides of the ball, right? Offense, defense, special teams. Take care of it. Defend it. Don't turn it over. We always give ourselves a chance to win. Give ourselves a chance. You know, unfortunately, we gave it away four times on Friday, and we lost by one score. So 
your adage is true. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time uh, this week. Thanks. Uh, best of luck in the game. Hopefully everybody will come out and support you. Uh, we have a couple other items that we'll talk about. But, Coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, luck, guys. Coach. Bye. Our fall season's a busy time. Uh, a lot of sports going on on campus. Uh, football's playing uh, once a week, all levels. Uh, got over 100 kids out there. Um, but we also have a lot of other sports uh, going on. We're back full seasons for everything, like girls volleyball last year. Uh, didn't get a season in because of COVID. And this year, we got three full teams ready to compete, uh, defend our six league titles in a row in volleyball, 24 league titles. Uh, as a whole, the most in, in school history of any sport. Um, so good luck to Coach Griffiths and, and our squad this year. Zoe Henson, returning player, going to be a three-year varsity letterman as a junior um, to anchor our squad this year. Uh, girls golf also is participating, uh, have a full season ahead. Uh, had a good year last year. A couple individuals really shined for us under Coach Lujan. Uh, Kristen Legaspi is back for a third year on the varsity team uh, and returning sophomore uh, Catherine Gerbing, uh, who qualified for CIF and made a deep run into CIF, finishing 11th overall in all of Southern California. And she's just a sophomore, so it should be a pretty solid year, pretty good squad, a couple girls that could really yeah. do well. Definitely excited to watch her play. I think she's going to make another deep run, and hopefully uh, we'll have a couple other girls make that run with her. Uh, girls tennis is going on right now as well. Coach Joe Paul's got our team uh, and our, our program rolling. Three straight league titles, or at least a share of a league title. Uh, CIF semifinals last year in the spring, and this year we turn it back quick in, in the fall. So he's got a loaded up schedule, lots of preseason games uh, to get ready for our league contests. Uh, Valencia is always tough in our league. Cream Lutheran's coming up, and, and the other schools are improving as well. So hopefully we can defend our title again in tennis. Uh, boys water polo is playing. Uh, we're in a little bit of a drought in league titles when it comes to boys water polo. It's been five years or so. Um, but if there was one sport that put in more time than anyone else, uh, it was the water polo team this year. Morning and night, uh, six days a week, they put in a lot of hours in the pool. Uh, coach says these guys are in the best shapes of their lives and they don't even know it. Uh, so hopefully we got, we got a good team, a deep team, a balanced team uh, that should be able to compete in the Empire League. And our final sport for the, for the fall is cross country. Uh, boys and girls cross country compete. Um, they haven't won a league title since 2008, but uh, hopefully that's gonna change this year. The boys have a really good shot. Uh, had a deep class uh, two years ago with sophomores that are now seniors. Um, Matt Legassi, uh, Saeed uh, Abdulahim is a senior. Uh, Mohammed Khalil seniors and we added a transfer Justin Singer from Kennedy uh, and when he's eligible he's going to make a real big impact uh, he's been one of the best runners in the league for for three years and now uh, we got him so uh, he'll be eligible for the second part of our season yeah we're excited to watch him run excited for our fall sports uh, so we'll be back each week to bring you a little bit from uh, from the athletic side, and we hope you guys will come out and support us, be a part of the action. We'll see you out on the fields and courts. Thank you. See you guys out there.